Hi guys, welcome back to Kuna Live Broadcast. I'm Sam, the host for your topic today. And the topic of for today is the newer version of the virtualization station, which is the version 3.4. And we have added some new functions to the virtualization station QBKG. So uh, we will have RP and Calvin here to do that in depth. But that is not the first one. And then the second is that now you can manually adjust the CPU core uh, numbers for each of your VMWares. So that will be the two new things for uh, the two uh, the new version of the virtualization station. So Kevin will do the backward explanation, please. Okay, thanks. And I'm Kevin. And uh, have you ever created two VM and uh, the system is very like like this? You can see that I just created two VM. And um, my system is all of my all of memory, and you can see the uh, right side. My system memory is usage is ninety two point six percent, and then uh, you can see the system memory is usage very high. And in this situation, I don't I cannot do anything, and uh, I think this situation is bother the NAS user. Out of memory will impair the system computing. So I create some issue. First is out of memory. The second is memory cannot be expanded. The third is NAS runs too slow. And the final is temporarily need to open the multiple VM. But always the uh, solution always is money, money, money. Why? Because you need to uh, purchase memory, purchase a PC, or purchase memory, more memory and more PC. But we are always have one problem is I have no budget. The actual status of the running multiple VNs, we, we can see this, this photo, and there are three memory, and each memory has four gigabit, so totally have uh, 12 gigabit. In temporary want to join two VN in, in my system, is one is over 2019, but I can do it. Why? Because it's out of my memory. And what you are supposed to do? How to fix out of memory on NAS? There are two solutions in here can fix this issue. The first is memory share, means KCM. Share VM memory to reduce host system usage. We can, now we can see the left side photo. There are many, many, which is the Windows OS. So it's the, the Windows OS uses the same file. Mean that means you can share the same memory each other. The other way is <coughs> the other way is me memory growing. It means dynamic allocation of memory each VM. When the loading is is light, the bottling is inflated. When the each VM for dynamic allocated memory. So our solution is our solution is combine KSM and the memory growing. Of course, you can choose flexible as well. You can set the VN1 is sharing, VN2 is no sharing, VN3 is blowing, VN4 is blowing and sharing. Yes, you can choose this. How to optimize the memory usage on v of the VN? Uh, generally speaking, the uh, system is monitor each VN's memory usage long time, and then to do evaluate uh, user defined policy, and then to do action for blowing or KSM and blowing. Virtualization station, MOM. MOM means manage, um, memory over commit management, advantage and benefit. The uh, benefit for user is if you pay $100 by the device, you definitely you enjoy the 100% device performance. The second is setting apply just one click to finish the UI is very easy to use. The third is if you need to 10 gigabit memory, maybe you buy 8 gigabit is enough. The final is when you need to start VN service temporarily, you can use this as flexible memory management. The use timing is suitable for multi VN service and the file used by multiple service service are mostly duplicate. For example, if you VN1 clone to VN2, and uh, this clones, clones VN is choose, can share the same file, so also uh, share the same memory. 
The final is MRM advantage. It's optimized and allocated virtual machine memory. See, enable it. We can see that the memory from 92% down to 34%. Memory usage will gradually decrease. And just one click is OK, it's finished. Now you can see that the VNS, VNS, <coughs> VNS memory versus system memory. I create three VN, like the uh, total have uh, uh, 12 gigabit memory. It's overcoming my system memory. My system memory is just only 7.7 .7 gigabit. So it's overcoming. And the uh, usage, we can see that the uh, usage is only 16%. So system still stable running and uh, running application smoothly. I I can open a fire station. So we have prepared the first demo for you, and uh, while the prepare is playing, and uh, uh, sorry, while the demo is playing, Kelvin will do the explanation to all the process that we have done for you. And now. Uh, I'm on a disable situation. I disable memory sharing and uh, disable dynamic memory allocation. And uh, turn on the virtual machine. Also, I disable uh, these two functions. And uh, turn on the virtual machine. Now we can see that the memory usage. Oh, 80%. And uh, I try to do anything. I try to open the fire station. No, I cannot do it. I cannot do anything. See? And I, the second is I enable the MOM setting and uh, enable the memory sharing and the dynamic memory allocation. And uh, you need to add the DVD run. And it's the Windows tool, Windows Guest tool. The dynamic memory allocation need to install Windows Guest tool. Okay. Yeah. Again, setting and uh, add the DVD tool. And DVD and install the Windows Windows tool, and turn on the virtual machine. Again, enable it, and uh, add the DVD run. Install the Windows tool. Turn on the virtual machine. Okay, it needs a, a long time to turn on. And the uh, preference, I suggest you overcoming 50% usage. If you commit more 50% usage, your system may be not stable. And then enable the memory optimizer. And, I see, and then we can see the system monitor, the memory usage. Okay, memory usage. Twenty three point seven per cent. Okay, I can open the fire station smoothly and I also create a widget bar cloud also smoothly. And uh, I we watch the system memory usage under fifty percent. 
and uh, the total memory accurate 20 accurate 30 memory is over commit okay so that is the first demonstration we have prepared for you then uh, we will go on the next topic also it's about the virtualization station so please uh, dynamically improve VM performance with uh, CPU hard aid. The For user benefit is uh, based on the current use of the VM, user can hard aid the number of CPU call immediately. Now you can see that step one, your VM machine needs to close, VM machine turn off and uh, click the function. And uh, step two, turn on the virtual machine and uh, you choose you want to hard aid CPU call. And the origin is two call. Step three, I, I hide it for four call, and then final is finished. Of course, if you need to reduce it, you can click, uh, click the setting after the virtual machine to its turn off. The using time, the timing is uh, when the virtual machine cannot run due to the performance issue, the number of CPU call can be hide immediately. Virtual virtualization station, some key function. Uh, middle side here mm -hmm. okay the first is a disaster recovery is a dr solution the dr solution is a snapshot and a backup the dr solution snapshot of course it support a copy on write without say shut down the vm and quickly revent to the known state and the third is snapshot is scheduling the final is scheduling screenshot reserve and the retention you can you can see the photo in the, for your reference dr solution to backup support backup vm locally and remotely non-stop vm backup and uh, also have a restore backup remotely and uh, definitely have a scheduling function you can see the photo the function is inside the photo for your reference Quick clone, quick clone of virtual machine. You don't need to restart and uh, reinstall the virtual machine. You just copy directly from the local. And uh, now you can see the middle side. I clone the virtual machine. And the total memory is 20 gigabit. My, it overcome in my system memory, 50.6 gigabit. And the memory usage is just only 16%. Because the clone virtual machine can be used directly and also use the memory to save memory usage. So, okay. Convenient sharing of virtual machine. If you want to share your virtual machine to your friend, you don't need to give him the NAS address, account, password, no. You just generate a quick link directly and click it connect the VM and no need to create NAS UI. Of course, for your safety, event period can be set to a link. Okay, the, the photo is for your reference. Okay, so before, uh, before our second demo, we have a friend from Morocco and ask, uh, he's ha he has a TS251A. A TS. Yes. Okay. TS2518. Okay. And when he installed, uh, for example, the VM for Windows 10 version, and the NAS become very slow. So uh, I think you can check the, the core that you have set to your Windows 10, and maybe also you can check the memory and mm. uh, the, the st uh, storage capacity for your, uh, for your VM. Well, uh, or you have another suggestion for our friend here? Uh, it just create one VM or two VM. Maybe just one. Just yeah. one VM. Maybe one VM. Maybe is uh, memory is not enough, mm -hmm. or CPU core can set. You can use this uh, function. Yes. Uh, wait a minute. Use this function for hard aid. You can choose a hard aid function, mm -hmm. and uh, enhance his uh, CPU core. Yeah. So maybe that is on the CPU core settings that can be increased or can be adjusted so uh, we believe that you can try again and then if that goes well then I think you're doing it right and due to we have a new function on the virtualization station new version 3.4 that you can adjust the CPU core so maybe you can try that 
And okay, we can go to the next demo, right? Yes, yeah. the final demo. Okay, this demo is a, a clone clone demo. Mm -hmm. With clone with MOM demo. And I say again, I said the enable the memory sharing and the dynamic memory allocation. And I clone my VN again, set the memory sharing and the dynamic memory allocation, uh, maybe one gigabit. Okay. Okay. And uh, wait a minute, he will turn on the turn on the virtual machine. And I open the system monitor to check the memory usage. Wait a minute. Okay. 28.8%. And I create more one. is overcoming my system memory. I totally create 22 memory for virtual machine to use. But I, my system memory only have 50.6 gigabit. It's overcoming my, my system memory. And then it's been, wait a minute. Okay, 30%. Totally 22, 22 gigabit. Okay, so this is overcoming my system memory, and uh, the system is smoothly. And I can create the fire station smoothly, and my system is stable. See? So disable, enable, maybe 60%. Okay. Yeah. So let's go back to the slides. And now we have another, we have a friend called James Warland. He said that he has a TS453A, which is a previous generation of our NAS. And he is having three of 8 TB disk and a 500D SSD. When he runs the VMs on his own PC using the iSCSI connection and they load very fast. But when the connection comes to using a VM on the NAS, well, the connection getting, the get connection got slow. Well, I think basically TS45 model mm. and uh, deficient of the, maybe the VM. So uh, maybe you can maybe you can try to. Okay. You want ma? You want you Yeah. So uh, maybe you can try to. Sorry, we had a little problem on the the, the, the vocal connection. So maybe you can try to uh, adjust your your 